Okay, so now I'm gonna to reveal to you the secret of how do we get multiple outputs. And, and the answer is kind of cheesy at first. Um, so what we're gonna do is, let's say this is linear regression. And I made this uh, notation clear in the last video, so you can check that out. But here's linear regression. And uh, let's call this actually y1. So we're trying to predict two things, y1 and y2. Um, and so we have another thing here. So we have x1, x2, and x3. And we have y2. And boom, boom. Boom. Okay, so what I've done here is I've essentially done a copy paste, but uh, here what we're doing is we're predicting y1 and here we're predicting y2. So it's, it's, it's sort of different, right? Because you're trying to predict different things and um, actually the associated value for w1 here would be different from the associated value w1 here because they're, they're two different instances of linear regression. But we're not gonna get it down into the weeds of that we'll just assume that there are two different linear regression things that are going on. Under the hood, there are different things uh, going on, but they look exactly the same to us from the outside. Now, what we're going to do is, in order to combine these two, I'm going to do something which is like this. x1, x2, x3, and then you have a y1 and y2. And I'm just going to draw all the arrows you can imagine. Uh, and this and this. OK, so if you isolate this, uh, if you only look at this part right here, that's exactly the same as this. And, and uh, if you only look at this part over here, where you don't include y1, then that's exactly this. Right, so I'll bring that back. Okay, so what's happening here is we've essentially um, sort of made it seem like there's only one thing going on, that this is one connected component, but there is actually two things going on here, which, which you know, because you know about this from before, right? Uh, but to an outside person, this might look like just, just one thing that's happening over here. And uh, this is actually, kind of a neural network actually. So this this could be considered a neural network. Oh my god. Network. Um and uh if you think about it, this system of what we've done here is a sort of plug and play system. I could have actually added uh, a third output if I wanted to predict a third thing. And all I had to do was come up with the W, uh, the corresponding Ws and the corresponding B value from before. Uh, what I'm talking about is is all of this stuff over here. And that's all I had to do uh, in order to add a, a new output, which is like Y3, right? And so uh, what's happening here is uh, that we're, we're expanding, right? We have multiple inputs and now we have multiple outputs. And what we can do now is we can uh, predict, or we, we can change this to log logistic regression as well. You could have viewed this as a logistic regression thing as well. So, so you could have viewed this as um, like this guy, the computation for this is sigma of w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3 plus b, right? Um, and, and I told you to look at it as linear regression, but, but now I'm telling you to look at it as logistic regression. So we're actually predicting three classification tasks simultaneously. Okay. And, and so this is how you could do multiple inputs and multiple outputs together. The, the reason I said it was, it looks cheesy is because, um, it's just stacking multiple things together, like sideways, I guess. Uh, but we'll see how this is more helpful uh, in the next video.